hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i going to show you how to export that into the laravel i going to use one based package laravel excel this package is widely popular and i going to show you how to install and how to use this package and how to export the data first of all we need to install this package using the composer and here is command given so let me open the terminal and show you how to install zoom and let's copy this command composer require mate website slash excel and paste it here now composer start to install this package in my this application you can see here this package is successfully installed and right now generating and optimize the auto load files and you can see here package installed successfully and one note you need to check if composer fail on laravel 9 because of simple cache dependency and you will have to specify psr simple cache version 1.0 in your composer.json so you need to add one extra package in your application right now i install this package into the laravel 8 and that's why working but maybe not working in laravel 9 that time you need to install this package and then we need to provide these providers and excel alias into the config hab.php but i think we no need to do this both step if we are using laravel latest version after 5.6 and let me fire this command and publish the config file and excel.php is published inside the config you can see here you can see import and export both settings and also some formats here listed pdf and everything you can change this config file based on your requirement see here chunk size is 100 when using from query and the query is automatically chunk here you can specify how big the chunk should be so all the settings have description well documented in this config file so you can easily know it why this variable declared in this config file so now let's take one export example now i'm going to open the application and i have one this table with the data and now i want to export these categories so I'm going to put one export button here and then when I click on the export button all the categories export into the one excel file so let me put index and here is export now i need to specify into the web.php so i'm going to specify route categories slash export and i'm going to specify category controller and next is method name export category and 
I going to specify this method here into the controller public function and export category so basic stuff is ready and let's refresh and we need to specify name to the route I forget let me specify name and we need to specify route name and then let's refresh and you can see export button now let me give some margin mr-2 is bootstrap class and now you can see here some space edit now export button is edit and add new button as well when i click on export button that time data should be export in specific format first of all i going to show you how many formats supported by this excel and you can download in that format here is given the list xlsx csv tsv ods xls html mpdf dom pdf and all example are given here with the variant and you can do it and also lots of method provide by the laravel excel you can export from the collection you can export from the query you can export with the view and lots of thing drawing and mapping data multiple sheet everything you can do it so this package provide lots of features and you can use it but basically in this tutorial i going to show you with the collection exporting with collection so i create one collection and then download with specific collection so let me create this kind of example with my application inside the editor let me close this and this one now I going to create one folder and call export and I create one new file here category export dot php and let's specify php and namespace the class app slash HTTP and exports specify class name now we need to implement with the form collection and this form collection from the midweb so let's add namespace here and now we need to export the data with the collection so let's specify collection function return category and all now we use this collection inside the controller so let's declare inside the controller and return excel and download 
we need to specify new and category dot excel sx and let's specify we need to add excel and category export on use statement so do not forget to use app http exports and specify category export next thing is we need to add excel into the use statement for download the category excel file so let's refresh the application and try to export and you can see here all the data are exported now if you want to display only few data then you can use query so i'm going to show you how to export data through the query and here is example also given from query this exportable is used you should use this exportable in your collection and your collection class if you don't want to use this excel download facet you directly do it with return specify and directly call download function so it's given in documentation you can refer it right now i'm going to show you from query example so let's create new export and let's rename this and also rename this and here we need to specify from query instead of from collection let's change the namespace as well and also we need to change this method collection to query and here we need to specify query you can fire where condition here if you want but right now i'm going to export all the data and let me change inside the controller and specified category query export and let me change into the namespace save and let's refresh and export and you can see here this is the second and you can see it now i'm going to show you with where condition so you can easily understand how queries work i'm going to specify here where name and i'm going to only export those category which name is known and let's refresh and let's export where and see only two records exported in this file so you can easily specify your all the filters inside this query next thing is i going to show you with the view you can specify your headers and you can customize your excel file through the view so i going to show you with the view let's copy and change class name category view export 
and let's change query to view from view specify here and specify view and now we need to return view here and we need to specify view name here so let me specify categories go to the resource view category and i going to create one new view here new file export dot blade dot php and here we need to specify this export view name here categories dot export and we need to specify data here so first of all let me remove this specify all and let declare category variable and now I need to specify that category variable and let's specify this variable here and then I need to use this variable inside this categories export blade file I have already this view I directly put it here without wasting the time and one more thing let's add and we need to specify view here now we need to specify this export view class inside the controller so let's specify and change this one save go here refresh and export and let's specify view open this file and you can see here name and all the name is displayed here so you can easily customize your headers your data using the view method so metweb given lots of thing you can see multiple sheets mapping data customizing columns you can map and customize your column and your data as well some settings also provided here you can export image inside the sheet using the drawing method and other helpful things concerns given here you can check it so next thing is import and i show you import with laravel 9 in next tutorial thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel